Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we'll be reviewing Model 1's Poly Gel Kit from Amazon. Stay tuned. Alrighty, so I've already prepped my nails with my electric file. The Model 1's Poly Gel Kit came with seven colors, pink, clears, apricot, and nudes two gel coats, so a top coat and a base coat, both which will, you'll need a UV light to cure. It also came with these dual forms, many of them, though I really just reused the same ones for the whole hand. Also a 100 and 180 grit file, which is really good to use for shaping since the poly gel is actually really softer than uh, the acrylic. It also came with the spatula to scoop and the brush so you can paint your poly gel within it. You'll also need to use a 71% or higher alcohol. So here I'll be taking my polyforms and I'll be grabbing one to fit on my finger. So right here I'm using size number 5 on my index finger and it fits just perfect. You want it to go over a little bit on the cuticle edge so that way you can cover the cuticles completely. I'm going to take my soft pink poly gel, squeeze a little bit out on my spatula and I'm going to scoop that in there from the bottom of the form. That way when I put it in on the bottom I can just slide it up with the brush and it can nicely go in and I can form a flat cuticle. Definitely want a flat cuticle for some natural looking nails. So here I'll scoop it all in. So while you're painting away, you want to make sure that you're creating a flat cuticle, a little bit heavier on the apex of the nail, which is going to be the curve, and then your free edge is nice and thin. Not too thin, but definitely you don't want a thick nail. Here I had an air bubble, so I had to get it out a little bit. You're definitely going to have your trials and your runs and errors when you're doing it, but it all takes practice. So I'm just going to go, I see there's lines on the forms. Those lines I used for every nail to make sure that I was coming out with the same exact length. And I just made sure I had a straight edge on that so it was great to file. Alright, so once you're done shaping here, you're going to turn it over, place it at a 45 degree angle on your nail, right before the cuticle, and push it back a little bit on there. After that, you're going to go for 60 seconds on top, 60 seconds underneath, and 60 seconds once again on top if you covered it with your finger like I did. We're going to take the form, now we're going to wiggle it off side to side and it should pop right off like that. Beautiful. Nice and smooth on top and we'll keep on going to do our other nails. Alright, nail two done. Definitely easy to do. All you have to do is the shaping afterwards with your 180, 100 grit file. So here I'm going to start with the third finger and I'm actually going to encapsulate flowers and glitter in there. So you're going to go in with some clear poly gel and you're going to lay a nice thin layer of that from the cuticle to free edge. I personally didn't put enough clear actually for this first coat, so I went in with my spatula and took a little bit more. Don't be afraid to grab a little bit more because the poly gel isn't going to dry until you cure it. So just added a little bit more on that corner edge right there so that way I can always keep that cuticle nice, flat, and put together. After that, I had bought this pack of flowers off of Amazon. These dried flowers, I went around, I picked one. 
So I think I started with this dark purple flower here. I took it out with my spatula and I laid it gently into the clear. You're just gonna lay it in there and you're gonna lightly tap it in there. This is before I cured the nail. I picked another flower. You're welcome to do as many as you'd like. I decided that right after I put in the flowers, I was going to add a little bit of gold glitter at the bottom. So I kind of went for a gradient effect, putting a lot of thick glitter at the bottom and slowly sprinkling it up towards the top. I cured it for about 60 seconds and I went in again with another clear coat. Now going back and doing this on my second hand, I definitely think it was better to do it all once together without curing it at all. But it did also work out this way. I just found that the nail came out thicker than I wanted. So here's how the nail turned out. Beautiful. I slapped it on my finger at that 45 degree angle, pushed it back a little bit to the cuticle, and we're gonna go ahead and cure again for the 60 on top and 60 on bottom. My forms kept lifting, so that's why I kept holding it down. Wow. Gorgeous. Love it so much. All I need is some good filing and you're set to go. So for our last special nail, I took a very light pink and added some almost iridescent white silverish glitter to it to make a new color of my own. I did notice that you shouldn't add too much glitter because then like the poly gel won't be as strong on your nail and I found that it cracked when I put too much glitter inside of it. So once again, I'm going to scoop this towards the cuticle, take my alcohol and my brush, wipe it down, make my apex and thin free edge. it again top and bottom wiggle that bad boy off and voila so here are my nails before the filing very square and here are them right after I filed with my 180 grit side file So I took my e-file, buffed them a little bit with my mandrel, and went on to add my top coat that came with the kit. You're going to nuke them then for about 60 seconds, and you should have beautiful shiny nails. Here's the end product. I'm absolutely in love, and this was honestly... The entire kit was the price of one full set of nails, so definitely worth it when I could do my own. I really encourage you guys to try it out. Thanks for watching.